the number of people needing help in Irish waters last year was up by 10%. That's according to figures released by the RNLI. Lifeboat crews laws launched 1,089 times in 2014, bringing some 1,414 people back to shore. The busiest station was Loch Ree in Athlone, County Westmeath. Our Western correspondent, Dermot Fleming, has spent the day with the crew of the Eric Rouse. They're about as far away from the sea as you can get in Ireland. But despite half loans or an ally station being only two years old, it was the busiest in the country. They launched 69 times, bringing 142 people to safety. Last year's scorching summer may be a distant memory in today's freezing temperatures, but meant more rescues than anywhere else. We have various different types of users of the lake. Uh, most of our rescues would be of leisure craft, uh, either uh, people who own their own private craft or people who are visiting and taking a holiday on the lake on a higher craft. The crew encountered tragedy too when two anglers from Northern Ireland, Daryl Burke and David Warnock, died after their boat capsized last year, with a third man saved. A major uh, rescue there, right? it was um, it was very tragic and just, I suppose, lucky for one of the fishermen who survived that we were able to get out and uh, r save his life, you know. It, it was difficult for all involved, that the rescue. If a boat gets into distress here on Loch Ree and a call's put into the lifeboat, the crew can be on the water within as little as 10 minutes. <laughs> the gear may be the most professional, but the crew are all volunteers with their own jobs on virtual permanent call to provide a lifeline for those who end up in trouble on one of Ireland's largest lakes. The half of our crew are self-employed, so they have to take time off their own work uh, to come. Uh, the other half have good employers who are very generous in, in, in allowing them time to come. The exercise comes to an end, but these local heroes remain on permanent standby, providing a service which can mean the difference between life and death on one of Ireland's most treacherous stretches of water. Dermot Fleming, Ireland Live, Athlone.